A very supportive duo, always helping out each other. Always proper comic. Everyone's like that, but these guys always bring the hype. Uncontested shark, though. So interesting to see. I don't know about EU this morning. I just It's the only region I'm seeing that has uncontested shark, correct? Did you, oh, EU contested shark, yes. And then ROC had it definitely contested. I just can't believe they have it completely to themselves. Again, I talk about an up-and-coming duo. I feel like they're a duo that if you're looking for a new draw spot, you think, hey, let's drop on them. It's good loot, and they're not that good. Like, no offense to them. They're proving it well, but I can't believe they have it uncontested still. Again... Chaff and AV setting up yeah, for a yeah, nade yeah. strat possibly. It's a bit of an awkward spot to do it. They have to go off their high elevation to make it land at the 65 meters. Trying to find the right layer for it. Looks like they're setting up for it. Might be able to pull something off. He's got three. I don't know. Ooh, AV has some too. Let's see if they do it. This would be big for them for a limbs, but also for Storm Surge. Oh, they saw it coming and they bailed. At the same time, nade strats are annoying to deal with, but yeah, the awareness to know that someone's setting up near it. you. They're in that open area where they had angles and vision from all sides. So they knew someone was setting up for it. We'll use yeah. them in a better way i mean it's perfect timing now when you're playing with the best players in the world or at least in your region some always try to argue the world and they east on top you on top oh, good. Uh, you can type the ones and twos in chats but chap is typing the 150 straight to the bodies right now and that's grims going down another i think these guys are going to be fighting off spawn or running into each other every single game going for that bridge trying to get as much metal as possible poggers, poggers. <laughs> we have to cross. Uh, I won't even I'll say it again, guys. Go support Shia, man. Please. He I'm holds chilling, it down. Bro. I'm chilling. You're chilling. Yeah. Support Aussie, bro. OCE needs the recognition. Hey, man. I, I'm chilling as well, man. Don't worry. This is great to be on this one. I mean, I've been commentating. Like, I wasn't even commentating during World Cup. So, you guys have been holding it down since day one. I'm kind of like the new upstart come up who's just been grinding over here. Getting up early. Bring 6 a.m. wake ups for these things. I always get hounded. Why don't you do EU? Because <laughs> it's 3 a.m. for me. Yeah. I mean, why doesn't Blake live, though? Because he's got no shields. My man's going to be sprayed up from every single angle. Tried the launch pad, the desperation play. I mean, like, we need, Smell out we their need, prey. Uh, Where are they? Possibly uh, down below. A safe fight I know, I looming. But no, I think those guys are yeah, already gone. And I do want to. Go back really quickly to Assaults and Blake. Right now, 45th place. Only one... Oh, hold on. I think they got a couple. I just updated the leaderboard. One big. But they're in a position with no control. They have to go for a max launch all the way to the other side of the zone. And AV's going to be the one on point. He has a lot of the utility left on the team or the heals. He went higher than me. He does have, as ball has noticed as well. Yeah. Some of the best possible. I think Chap actually got bumped off when he got, went for that launch by someone else in the air. He ends up following just a little bit lower. Right, I'll ramp tunnel. And now these guys find each other looking watch for that ramp tunnel. Building. This is it. Watch this watch is their the moment. Right yeah. 136 blow storm so it's, this is their moment they have to go for something very big very soon 38 players alive 30 seconds i don't think eight players are gonna go down on this rotate so they're gonna have to worry about it we'll see last game we we're watching arab when they didn't have to worry about it a couple of players went down right as they kicked in on the storm surge threshold but they're going for the rotate not really looking for too much damage so maybe they think it will drop below 30 maybe they think five will go down they don't seem too panicked going for it when they have zero meds to out heal it now so this is going to be all or nothing here they either need to get the damage or they need it to go below 30 they've gotten in zone now they're looking back I guess that's it. They're not looking back. I think Chad's pretty confident they're not going to have to deal with it. He's looking for some angles, but they're not aggressively pushing like I would have thought they would. And it has to be a big game for Chad and AV. 12 points behind first. they got to set themselves up now as they continue up. This zone continues to push them max distance. I got the wall. When Chap does these cheap rotates, it's very hard for that dual player or anyone who does these cheap rotates to follow through. This time, though, it's AV who's going to be at the helm with him. Another launch pad comes straight in. The big value from it, too. Going all the way around, only getting tagged once. AV's going to be at the fray of a lot of shots, but he doesn't get tagged a single different time. And both in the same box, a perfect landing. 24 people left. Don't have to worry about Storm Surge. Unnatural low ground. They box up. Final match, though, from Chap. Does AV have any to boot? No. I'm out of mats, I'm out of mats. They're gonna have to make something, here it is. AV's like opening up some of these edits, they wanna have it, they're giving him the purple pump. So I'm not sure what this one's about, so no, he's dropping it back down. AV's gonna take it back, they need a big pump. Keep it on the controller player, AV's aim for this is nuts. He's sitting back in the tunnel, seeing if someone's coming through the edge. There is player above them, but AV gets shot from behind as they go for an 80 tag. That might even be Zex or a Mackwood. I saw the soccer skins, I saw the colors, I'm not sure whether it is outside their box. 
19 alive, one elimination. AB is getting in. Chap's not following. The call is following me. The editors are coming out, just missing. He's taking some solid damage. He's got to keep pushing through, trying to find his way in. The heavy sniper's not reloaded. Can't use that to get in the box. Only has the gray tag. Even if he gets in, two players in front of him. No, misses the shots and he goes down. Chap and AV going down just inside top 10 as we go back over to Colazo, the winner of last game. Now Colazo moving forward. Has the minis, a med kit able to pop. Does he have time? Doesn't look like it. Zone's actually pushing up. Tabs will have to be the person possibly to clutch over. But all the shields are on Colazo. He needs this elimination, doesn't get it. Tabs is the one to confirm. He has floppers, you can hear it from Colazo's comms. This is a possible big play, a pad that he can't come back and get. No, he chooses to come through. He has it, and Heavy Cyber behind him though. Who's that? It doesn't matter, no it does. It's Gilly that kills him, but no idea who goes down. They do get top five. They get top five placement points. I don't know if there's any other perspectives to go off right now. This player has the grappler as well. This is Gilly. He has the grappler on low ground. He's going to try and maybe go up for the high ground play. He does. 80 tag takes the high ground. A little bit of damage on the way through. He still hasn't completely have it though. Some AR shots as well though. He is doing phenomenal. He's getting a 39 tag. He is just holding his own in this lobby. He's now three players alive. It might be 1v2 on low ground. No, it's a 2v1 and they close it out. So I believe that was Gilly's teammate right. Unless I've gotten that wrong. That was a it's huge Mikey. finish. He just stood up toe to toe with the zone and just clapped back. Like it's no, Mikey and Grandma like Teets, and time and time again, oh. they're at least combining for one win in these games. Obviously, we saw the full game play out. Another team that was in towards the end, it was Gonzo. Here's Paper 2, Graska and Daxor. This is right before placement thresholds. We'll look over and see how these guys exactly get to it or don't. Bully also alive, Edgy going down early on in the Elam feed. Paper picking up a few things, but this is mid ground at its finest. Staying low key, making sure your duo comes back with you, giving them a little bit of room to stay behind. Map management there as well, choosing when to put your boxes up, when to put your stir tarps down as well. At the same time, we just saw also Bizzle go down there. So he still made it pretty high up in there, but didn't make it in the top 15 place and points, unfortunately. So Cease and Bizzle probably didn't pick up any now. Ronaldo is still picking up eliminations, though. So Ronaldo and Unknown may be coming back a little bit. So he's got an elimination here. He's inside top 15. Centered going down in top 15 as well. So a lot of those teams are back up there. Coop in there as well. So it means Arab and Coop made some place and points. A lot of the top 10 shouldn't change up too much. Except for obviously Grand Martins and having a big game. So they might jump up. Grand Martins just took down Sis Lucky also in the feed. We now see Zexro going down. Mac would going down a little bit earlier. So that trying to solo clutch that one through. And then we, this is the point we, we lost off with AV and Chap. AV is now going down to the feed as well. And yeah, this game is definitely in this entire day for any East. A reputation changer more so than who quals, who doesn't. It's about who's first and who's second. It's literally about the specifics of entirely how the ride went out for every single duel here. Grasso going down. Now we're tuning in with Coop. And this is a decision Arab made earlier. He gave this man the grappler, the mythic scar to use towards the end game, and he makes good work with it. Not out and out just yet. Which means Arab and Coop actually made it inside top five again. They're playing so consistently on placement right now. And here it is between to Mikey and Grand Martins, how they close it out. There's Coop going down there, and that's what gave him the grappler to then close out the win. But a huge solo performance from Coop there. They're trading off. Arab carries one game, Coop carries the other. It's nuts from then. Now we have Mikey has it, so Grand Martins is going up, trying to close it out. Players on top of him. Mikey managed to grapple up there. Grand Martins with the pressure. He's just popping off now. Toe to toe, just dominating, and they go down. Unfortunately for little baby Gonzo on low ground. And he's looking like a little baby there. Goes down, unfortunately, from the sky. <laughs> oh, on this close. first page, it's only eight points. It's literally so close. But we are going to look all the way towards the top 20. I do want to stick on this page for a second and see what you guys see. Shia, first thoughts on the top 10 here. I mean, the final breakout moment for Arab and Coop. This man has been struggling with different squads all the time, being told he's getting carried, but finally has that recognition for being in third place. At the same time, up here, Animal Aspect, a story we haven't seen, missing the pages of the book. For generations, finally found in the grass, stapled together, and they're back in fourth place. 38 points. It's still anyone's game. People could get knocked out of 10th place too. I'm looking at Cease and Bizzle here too as well. 34 points. I think they went out side placement points there, so they could have a big win. If you think about everyone switching up wins, the team that's up there right now hasn't had a win who has the ability to clutch it out. It's got to be Bizzle. I mean, Cease as well, but how many times has Bizzle clutched up at the end of a tournament? I have to put my money on them to close this one out. They're only five points away from the top, but this leaderboard's looking insane, but Ages of Innocence, unfortunately, not finding too much consistency towards the end now, correct? I don't know if I'm wrong, but I feel like the points haven't changed too much for them since the last game. I think that was a three-point game for them. 
them. And then Animal and Aspect had zero points as well. So yeah, it's so tight. I have no idea right now. I, I think the top of 10 here, as we move on to the next page, are close all to about 10th average placement. Most of them missing one game of placement the entire time. And we 